So, day number two of being on the aisle, and uh, wow, <laughs> um, yeah, I've had two doses of Shortec, two, and zero doses of um, paracetamol, zero <laughs> doses of ibuprofen. This shit is crazy. Why is it not? Sorry, I'm still getting some of my makeup off. Always moisturise before I get bed, guys. There we go. <clears throat> so, yeah, like I said, day two. And, uh, yeah, two doses of short tech compared to the God knows how many doses I took before. It's crazy how this is not a go-to medicine by doctors. It's absolutely mind-boggling. Not only is it mind-boggling, but it's absolutely infuriating that the doctors can't prescribe a cannabis-type tablet for pain relief. It's absolutely ridiculous. I mean, I've been on this oil now for two days and <laughs> my pain relief has nigh on disappeared. Like I said, I've had to take two short tech, yeah. But that was for like breakthrough when I was in town and I was getting close to having to take my oil again. I don't take my oil out with me anywhere at all. I don't because if I was to get caught, I would you know, be in trouble. Um, but wow, it's crazy how this works, and I can't get my head around it. You know, I um, just feel up here. Where is it? Oh, where's my book? Where have I put it? I do have myself a notebook somewhere. I've put it down somewhere. I don't know where. Is that it there? I, um, this, this is it here. I also want to moisturise my skin as we're speaking. And there was my moisturiser under my eyes. That moisturiser there. And that moisturiser there. Right then. As you can see, I've got myself a little book. You know, it's just a little book. That's all. And I basically um, put in it how I feel after the oils and stuff. So Friday, um, after a bad night, it was a horrendous night, I might add. Um, I don't know why it was so bad. It just, <laughs> I don't know. It was horrendous. So I'm just watching Odin. He's he tries to lick my feet, and he just he just sniffed one foot, and then sniffed the other. My feet are clean, Odin. I've had a bath. He had a row off mommy yesterday. Scorned puppy, because while I was doing a blog, five minutes in, and he would not leave me alone, and he was all over me, and he knocked my phone out of my hand numerous times. There was a lot of swear words. So I had to stop the blog. I had to send him out the room. I had to restart the blog. Because I couldn't have put that up. It was just Odin being a massive dick. Anyway. This, you know. After a bad night, I took one spray of the oil under my tongue. I also took two short tech. Normally take every two hours. It's now 1.30pm and I've not had any short tech. I plan on taking the oil 10 a.m., 2 p.m., 6 p.m., and 10 p.m. If I wake earlier, I plan on taking another spray. Okay, that was uh, that was it. 5 p.m. I took my next short tech, guys, and I normally take my short tech every two to two two to two and a half hours. And yeah, it's getting better. Um, I actually had a full night's sleep last night, um, which is quite rare. I took. I spray under my tongue at 6.30, as well as my medication that I take in the morning. And, uh, yeah, very little pain today. Uh, I had a little bit of pain walking around town. 
that was because uh, it was coming close to like quarter past half past five, coming close to me having another spray. I think it was, wasn't it? Yeah. Um, so I got home, took another spray, started running the bath. Went for a bath, nearly fell asleep in the bath, that tired. Um, yeah, so you'll notice I've got no makeup on. I'm uh, doing my, um, found my foundation. Ugh, my moisturiser. I'm not going to do what normal the girls do and go like that. I'm just going to stick on my face and go bang. Obviously up in the top of my mouth because I'm one-handed and put it on myself like this. But yeah, seriously guys, moisturise. My skin doesn't look like it's moisturised. but It is. Can you imagine what it would look like if it wasn't moisturised? That's not something you want to go into in a dark alleyway now, is it? Hmm. No one comment about cum. I got there before you guys. I know you all, my dirty-minded friends. I love you guys. Anyway, rub it in. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm just showing you a bit of my daily regime. Um, my also my daily regime used to be a being in pain. Um, that's not a thing now, is it? Or oh, no, something about Mary jokes either. You're welcome to laugh and joke. People that know me know that I'm a very laid back person and um, I take everything with a pinch of salt. But uh, I look a bit brighter now with a bit of foundation on my face. Um, but yeah, today has been relatively good. It's uh, I managed to go to town with my girls, I just get stuff done. That's pretty good. Man, it. Oh Christ. Anyway, I need to um, get out and about a bit. And then, um, sorry. I'm basically using this as a, a bit of a mirror at the moment. Hey, girls gotta do what girls gotta do to stay uh, young looking. You know, not all of us can be vampires. I uh, bumped into my friend in town today. I haven't seen her for a little bit. She's been on holiday. It was so nice to see her two children and a partner. And I think we're going to go out for a meal on Friday, which is going to be really nice. A nice catch up. Just before school starts pretty soon. I am uh, not looking forward to that, actually. I haven't even decided how Anya's going up to school. Um whether she'll jump on the public bus or whether we'll put her on the um the um what they're called school buses but she has said she doesn't want to go on the school bus because it's um not brilliant to go on apparently so i'm you know respect her wishes but anyway um today in all jokes aside all all that aside today has been a relatively good day you know, I've pain wise, it's been brilliant. I've hardly had to take any tablets. Yes, Candy, you can come and lie on the bed with Mammy. Come on. Don't think you've ever met Candy, have you, guys? This is uh, my girl, Candy. Come here, then. Come and lie on the bed with Mammy. This is Candy. Candy's a greedy dog. Candy's sniffing for food. She knows I've got a yogurt and a cereal bar up there. Look at that scorn puppy face. Candy. Oh no, look at them big, big, soaking eyes. Are you looking for food? Are you looking for food? Hey. Cheeky. <laughs> you mommy's girl? Yeah. Okay. Mwah. Right. But yeah, um... You can't eat that as foundation. Uh, foundation? Why is that stuck in my head? Moisturiser. Don't sulk. Candy, are you my friend? Candy, are you my friend? Are you not my friend? 
Is it because you know there's, 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 there's stuff up at the top there? You're sitting on a wooden rocking horse. Is it because there's stuff up at the top and you want it, even though it's not yours? <laughs> she bought a fall. Anyway. Um, I will be ordering more of this oil. This oil is fantastic. Unfortunately, at the moment, though, they sent me a... Um, oh, Candy, no! Odin, don't start. Get down on your bed. Get down on your bed, Odin, if you're going to be like that. Oh, he's a naughty boy. Oh, he's a naughty boy. Look at him. You've been a naughty boy again. Lie down properly. Anyway, they have sent me oil, of course. Lie down. Lie down. Lie down. Go on, lie down over there. No, lie down over there. Lie down over there. People ask me, are you not sad that you've not had a little boy, little boy child? This dog is a child. We have to tell him off as if he was a child. Stop it. He is basically my childlike son. I, I have to watch everything he does because he puts stuff in his mouth that he's not meant to. He, oh. So for people that say to me, are you not upset that you didn't have a son? I have an Odin. That will be any type of son that I was going to have. Oh, it would have been an Odin. Eh? Did you just fart, Odin? Oh, good God, look at him. What are you looking for? Say hello. You're not pushing yourself against me again. Not like, not like last night. See, you're tired. Will you go sleeps? No. Will you go sleeps over there, please. Will you go sleeps over there, please. No, you're not licking the my uh, moisturizer cream off. Go on, go and sleep next to Candy. Go on. This whole blog is just going to be me telling you off, isn't it? Lie down and go and lie by Candy, please. You're a naughty boy. Anyway, right. No, go on now. Go on. Last warning. Anyway, where was I? Yes, they sent me the wrong strength oil. They sent me a strength lower. But it doesn't matter. I'll take that. Um, and my next strength will be the normal one. Um, I can actually... Sh no, I'm not gonna. I was going to show you guys the bottle, but I'm not going to do that, actually, because I also use this. Yeah, I'm not going to do that because... It could jeopardise me getting more. And as much as I like showing you guys stuff, I don't want to be losing my sauce. Because this is this oil is you know, it's between life and death, really. Let's not joke about that. Um, so if I'm taking no tablets today after taking the oil consistently... Woke up at 6 p.m. I took two sprays of the oil then. So I've had five sprays in all today. So, so yeah. Um, you know, it does. It takes a couple of days for it to run through your system and open stuff up and all stuff like that. But when it does, it starts working at an immense rate. Now, if you think what it's doing to my knee and my my side... What do you think it's doing to the cancer? Yeah, that's a good one. You know, so all these people that are against cannabis oil and cannabinoid type stuff, take that for a second. It's not doing any harm to me. I'm not going about kicking off at people. I'm not going about being angry. I'm not acting like a drunk lout. I'm in my own house. I can take two sprays and then walk around town and be completely normal. You wouldn't even know. That was lovely in town today, by the way. I had two different people look at me like I was just a piece of dirt on their thing on their shoe. I do think it's got I've got really short hair. You know, people aren't used to that. It's a it's a taboo a woman having short hair. Woman's to have long hair. Yeah, I will. This is my hair growing. Yeah, and it will grow more, and it'll come like that. It'll grow more, more. 
Um, yeah. Yeah, well, I'll, I'll get back to looking like a normal woman, except I won't look go back. I'm always going to have this side of my head shaved as a fucking reminder of how strong I've been and how strong I am. You know, I am a whirlwind. I have gone through so much and defeated so much. And, you know, done so much as well. I, I, you know, I, I kicked kidney failure right out of the ballpark. You know, recovered miraculously well from that. So, you know, it's not as if I've sat at home and done nothing. I've battled. I've got battle scars like everyone else has. I have nightmares. Yeah. Nightmares sometimes terrify me to the point I wake up in tears. But you don't go through the likes that I've gone through without some kind of mental scar. You know, a lot of people don't know the, the stuff I went through. You know, it was horrendous. You know... I hope that no one ever has to go through uh, brachytherapy because <laughs> that's that's not a, that's not a nice stroll through a wooden park. That's painful. You get put to sleep where they go in and check what the cancer looks like and and uh, you know. Sorry, I'm just getting my drink. They put some tubes up you, some probes up you, and they leave them in there all day. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they leave them in all day, <clears throat> and um, yeah, right late in the afternoon. Oh, it's your turn to go and get your radiotherapy, internal radiotherapy, and you sit there with your legs open with this big, massive tubes coming out of you that may I add are sewn into you. I stitch at the top and stitch at the bottom to hold this internal prong as you will in and then they do the radiotherapy oh all finished then you're there on the gas and air because they are cutting the stitches out of you and it fucking hurts so you've got to have gas and air you have gas and air oh your head's a little bit dizzy they Yank this thing out, they tell you to cough, which makes it easier. I don't think so. You cough, they pull, it comes out. This is after cutting the stitches out of you. So no, it's not nice. So, for people to say, oh Natalie, yeah, 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 you did it. You need to know, it wasn't easy. It was a hell of a battle. And I am scared from it. I do have bad dreams. I don't have depression or anxiety anymore. That is the wonder oil that I take. It deals with stuff like that. And it deals with just stuff I got damn quick. And I don't mean, you know, antidepressants taking them. They they do help. I'm, I'm not going to slate them off. But they make you a zombie. You, 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 don't, you don't know how to feel. You don't know what to do and all stuff like that. And it's like... You know, it's just not nice. And then I start taking CBD oil and it's just like, whoa, whoa. things are being different. And then I find myself not being on my antidepressants because I don't need them. And I haven't been on them for quite a while. And believe me, guys, I was on the top end. I was on 40 milligrams. That's high. That was a stupid amount of antidepressants. And I was. I was a zombie going about. Now, someone in my... In having men, I said they noticed the difference straight away when I I kind of lost that depression and anxiety vibe, obviously. So everyone everyone gives off a vibe. And um it was nice to hear that, you know, they could see the difference in me. It made me then realise that I was on the right road with this oil. 
Also, I take this oil. So it's the right one. Yeah. <laughs> I take this oil, oil as well. At night time, I take this oil. And if I wake up in the middle of the night at all, I take this oil. It's 6 p.m. and after, I don't take this oil. Okay. But yeah, the pe people could see the difference in me. There is a little something I want to tell you about. Um, this is just not, this is just me trying to help other people. Not in this situation, but in lupus, MS, you name it. For them people that have got like lupus, MS, um, anxiety and depression, probably cancer, um, all sorts of stuff. Go and Google The Big Four by Rolf Gordon. This man is a wizard. I'm... <laughs> Once I sort the piles of washing out, I've got two piles of washing in my bedroom to put away. Once I do that tomorrow, and my bedroom is nice and tidy. It's tidy-ish now, it's just clothes over. I will be taking four corner picture of my bedroom and I'll be sending them to Rolf Gordon to uh, douse them and he'll tell me if my bed is in a um, geopathic stress place you know because apparently that helps a lot and if that's the case I have to move my bed well me and Daryl are going to be working hard aren't we we're going to be moving our bed but yeah this this man Rolf Gordon he is such a nice man I've not personally ever had the chance to meet him, but one of the women that I see knows all about him. And uh, she told me about him and, you know, he comes off as a very nice man. Now, you know, you may laugh and go, geopathic stress, dickhead, thinking, believing all that's going to help you. I'll believe whatever I want to believe to save my goddamn life. You can laugh. You can joke, you can take the piss out of me, but if I bloody well think it's going to keep me around to watch my children grow up and have a life of their own, then I will damn well do whatever it takes. I'm sick and tired of people looking at me like I'm some kind of weirdo because I believe in things. I've just put my telly on to distract me because I was getting angry. But I'm sick and tired of people mocking me for my views. Unless you are in the situation that I'm in now, you cannot mock, you cannot joke. It's not a joke. Cancer is not a joke. It's a serious, serious ailment. It's a disease that can be kicked out of the ballpark quite easy if just some big named people would just let them, you know, Thomas is on, brilliant. Yeah, if, you know, these pharmaceutical peoples as such would just let people have this oil. I've read about that young boy who had, um, was it the fits he was having? He was having up to 300 fits a week or a day. Oh, what's it called? Well, I read up on this boy. And uh, he's had the cannabis oil put through okay for him, which, <laughs> you know, is really good. You know, we want that. We want it to be made legal. If it's just been made legal for one person, that's one person better than nothing. You know, if we can get it made... Um... Oh, hello, Mr Ward. If we can get it made legal for all the other people, then so be it. That's another game. But I'm going to end my blog because Mr. Ward has come to bed. Say hi. I was a proper little nervous hi then. Like, hello. Um, but yeah, on a note, CBD TH cereal winner. On another note, by this time tomorrow, I'll probably be telling you I've had no short tech. So, yeah, that's one to keep an eye out for. Woohoo, yay. But like I said, if anybody needs to ask me any questions on it, don't 
think you can't inbox me and ask me. I'll, I'll answer anything that you need to know on the oils and on the Rolf Gordon matter. I'll do anything like that for you. I will help you as much as I can. And uh, yes, I shall blog you again tomorrow and see you soon. Bye, 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 bye.